Okay, I am Andre Cadogan, and today I want to teach you all all about installations of software, and we're going to focus on the installation of Windows 2008 Silver. But before we do this, I want to introduce you to the environment or a tool that I'm going to use where we can actually run this um, this operating system, because I don't intend to, you know, to actually uninstall my Windows 7 Eternity Edition, which I know most of you all out there really don't have, but <laughs> it's because your computer is not like mine's. Anyway, if you want um, to get this software, the Oracle VM VirtualBox, which I'm going to be using, I would probably load one of my browsers. Um, okay, I have already typed it in, so I'm going to type download Sun's VirtualBox. You're going to see a number of um, options here, but I would want to look for the one that actually have the suns.com on it. And I'm going to probably choose this this option here, download Sun's virtual box. Right? And um, since I'm running a Windows version, I would probably download a Windows um, version of it. So I'm going to click Windows and then I have all these options. They have the Ubuntu option here. But I'm going to download this here and it will actually come straight down to my PC. And I could always select the option save and it would point me to where I want it download. And so on. So I guess I could down just download it here. Now, uh, many of you all who do not know how to download, uh, uh, you know, like to bring down an operating system or bring down, uh, I shouldn't say bring down an operating system, but like bring down a file. Uh, I think if you are doing IT, I think you should go and study like psychology or something like that because it does not make any sense. Um, anyhow, I could have actually took the option to run it and install it, but nonetheless, Sun Virtual Box is on my machine already. So I'm going to click this Oracle VM Virtual Box. And there it is. It is actually an environment where we could have virtualization taking place. And we'll talk about virtualization a lot later on when we get into the actual installation of the operating system. But let us explore this Sun's Virtual Box. We've seen that they have an option for new. Then we've seen the machine. Um, tab file in terms of virtual memory management so you could click on this and we're going to see the options we could actually add a file or add a new disk or something like that as you can see the options will be highlighted down here you see creating new virtual hard disk or add an existing medium we're going to talk about all this when we actually do the installation of um you know the operating system and we've seen floppy images and so on all right so let's click ok to set it out here so basically what I'm going to do is to create first uh, uh, an environment for me to install the operating system. So I'm going to select the option new and then I'm going to click next and then I'm going to type what, what I want to install. So I'm going to just type uh, Windows uh, 2008 since it's the 2008 um, edition I'm going to be using. In fact, I should just type silver 2008 just to make it, you know, a little unique. Right, in my virtual box namespace, I have options, you have operating system that I could choose, you know, like the Mac and so on. So I guess some of you all could probably get a Mac ISO somewhere. I'm not saying a way you could get it. You understand? And probably try and see whether or not if it would run in this environment, but I guess it would. Alright, and afterwards I am going to go to this version. So I'm going to select 2008. I mean you can select others if you want, and you have the option of um 64 bit um Windows 7 and so on. What if, if I was to choose uh, Mac OS, then I'm going to see the Mac OS 64-bit here. I'm going to have the Mac OS and so on. I'm just going to choose Windows for now. And select the option 2008 and I'm going to go next because I want to create my virtualized environment. Uh, now, my base memory, I selected 512. Now, many of you all who don't really have like 8 gigs of RAM like myself, you probably should go and buy some RAM because you know when you're dealing with virtualization environments trust me your, your, your computer intend to consume a lot of memory but I don't see like the 512 you know some um, you know base memory might be what, 212 or 256 or it's according but I am not going all up here I can tell you that much nonetheless I'm going to click next and I'm going to start to create my virtual hard disk. So since I don't have any, I'm going to select the option boot hard disk here. And I'm going to create a new hard disk. And then I'm going to select next. So this is actually the default option. And then from there, the wizard is going to take me further. 
I like to choose the option dynamically, dynamically expanding storage or fixed storage size. Uh, it's basically, you know, you can always read it up. It occupies initially a small amount of space on your physical hard drive and it will go dynamically as, you know, um, you add stuff or you claim the space and so on. Whereas a fixed amount will just only leave a fixed amount of um, um, hard drive physical space that you would be able to use. But since I have a, a terabyte hard drive and, and you don't, <laughs> I suggest you select the fix option. So I am going to select the dynamic expanding storage. And this will be by default. This will actually go to my folder where it is going to be pointed to wherever um, the, the, the well, love is my, what you call my, no, um, you should say my desktop um, um, home folder. I could say that. And it's going to install the hard drift, um, hard disk, I should say, image file um, in this location. Nonetheless, I selected 20 gigabyte storage space in, in this in this um, uh, tutorial. Uh, many of you who, again, who don't have uh, at least a, a, a 500 gigs or something like that, I suggest you uh, just go and buy a new one. <laughs> Anyhow, so let's click next and we're moving forward and then I'm going to click finish and I'm going to click finish again and there it is, Silver 2008 that is already in this area here and it is powered off. Now before we install it, we want to do some setup and cleanup codes, I like to say setup and cleanup procedures. So I'm going to click settings here, alright, and in my setting tab, uh, I'm going to go to... Well, as you can see, generally, you're going to see these options that I took before. You know, I'm going to leave all this by default. Um, you know, I'm just running through it quickly for you all, you know, in terms of um, what would be on my um, my virtual drive. I'll have a motherboard that has um, a boot order of floppy or CD-ROM, just a hard disk. You could, you could reverse the order if you wish. And it's just like if you really am um, installing a, 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 a PC, you know, from scratch. But I guess for those who are watching this for the first time, we never really install... Um, any operating system you could probably try it you know um, it would boot di definitely from um, whatever um, part that you set in CMOS but again CMOS and all those sort of stuff would come in a different um, tutorial entirely my processor size I could say it one CPU you know I could leave it with four CPUs I'm gonna leave that at the default acceleration I'm gonna make these two um, uh, um, checked my display, uh, video memory all those things I'm gonna leave by default I'm gonna come back to talk to you all about this adding your ISO images and so on. But what it is I really wanted to do was um, highlight the network support. What I would do for my adapter, one, I'm going to leave this by the default, and I'm not going to select either Bridget adapter and so on. I'm going to just keep this NAT adapter, which is normally used in um, this um, virtualized environment. And I'm going to go to Advanced, and I'm going to really select this Intel Pro 1000 MT desktop. So I'm going to be looking for the desktop uh, edition of um, of this which is makes it a lot easier for us to connect uh, when we want to join a couple of um, virtual machines together in a virtualized environment so again the main area of coming into here is to select this network option here and make sure that I have these two options intact so you know, click OK and I guess in our next tutorial we will start installing um, Silver 2008